Richford residents got a notice on their doors back in June warning them that a chemical that can cause cancer has been found in the town's public water system. What does this mean? Vermont toxicologist Sarah Vos explains. These chemicals are associated with an increased risk of cancer. That risk of cancer is over the long term. It's over a lifetime of exposure. But we do know that for chemicals that cause cancer, every single exposure increases your risk, even if it's a tiny bit. Now, neighbors here tell me they weren't comfortable speaking on camera, but many say they're frustrated. They have to pay for water. They aren't even drinking. The Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation is partnering with the town of Richford to see what the best fix will be. The system takes in stream water from the Stanhope Brook. It's surface water. It comes down through the watershed. It mixes with leaves and particles and organic matter and things like that. So what we're working with them on is to assess the quality of that water coming into the plant before it gets filtered, before it goes through chlorine. The town tests their water system four times a year and just did an extra test. Daryl Fithian, chief operator for the town of Richford's Water and Wastewater Department, says they found an average of 34 parts per billion. As they figure out what to do next, should neighbors be drinking out of their tap? The water is currently safe to drink. The health level is based on a lifetime of exposure. It's not based on a, a short term acute. If you drink it, you will get sick instantly. It's based on a lifetime of exposure at levels above the maximum contaminant level. The town is holding a meeting tonight at 7 where state officials will answer questions and share what they're doing to solve the problem. In Richford, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.